Good morning, I'm on the way to Italy for a series of business meetings and stuff. This video may span one day, it may span two days, it may span three. I'm not quite sure, I need to see the guys and work out what's actually going on over the next couple of days. But I'm starting off here with Daisy, in the car, on the way to the airport. I just love traveling with a massive bike box. just two short flights but it basically was a whole day of traveling turned up in the dark last night now at the Villier offices and straight into the bike room where they have a room with one of every single bike that they make here bike box has been safely deposited upstairs with the mechanics I'll be sad to see the rave go but rest assured I'm gonna be taking a bike home in replacement of it unfortunately I can't really show you today what that's gonna be because really are gonna be making something about it on their own channel first. It will be worth the wait though, I promise. Check out this one here. So this is a fairly new release from Villia called the Garda. And it was the instigator of many arguments on Twitter because it's one of the few performance bikes released recently that has come out with rim brakes still. Long live the rim brake. Other cool stuff that they've got in here, e-bikes that don't look like e-bikes. The perfect crime. I'm serious, I've got to get myself one of these because uh, I'm documenting bike rides now, you know, so I've got to get the shots and carry all the heavy camera equipment. Lots of zero SLRs. This is the Spanish national champ one. Luis Leon Sanchez's to be exact. I don't know if this is one that they had as a spare or his actual one, because it looks very new. I always think how crazy it is sponsoring a team like Astana, how many bikes they have to have prepared and ready for the team. If someone becomes national champ, they've got to paint them up and probably supply more than one bike as well. And TT bikes, and if they end up in a certain jersey at a Grand Tour. That's a lot of bikes and a lot of painting. Astana Team Edition Zero SLR, really cool paint job on this. Might have been inspired slightly when I designed my Zero SLR and then did some riding with the team. I'm sure they won't mind if one bike goes missing, right? They got loads. Jimmy Nichols, actual bike. Oh, hang on. No, this is Pantani. So Pantani's actual bike with Pirate Saddle, because his nickname was The Pirate. When I approached this bike two minutes ago, I thought this was the one that I had ridden. It's actually not. This is not carbon fiber. The other one that I rode a couple of years back now must have been from a couple of years later. The most ridiculous thing about this bike though, the gearing. Look at the state of this. 53 on the front. <laughs> then look at the size of the cassette. Pantani would have raced these up mountains. Six, seven, eight. Hmm. Nine speed. Maybe I can sneak a ride on that one one day. I remember the carbon fiber one I rode was so much better than I thought it was gonna be, considering it was like first era of ever using carbon fiber to make a bicycle frame out of. After some quick research on Google, this bike is in fact from 1997. Pantani won multiple mountain stages on this bike with that gearing and set a record time of Help Wiz. Hands down the coolest bike here, 73 years old. And the first example of a Romato finish. This bike was raced by a guy called Fiorenzo Magni. He was the captain of the Villa racing team at the time, won the Giro d'Italia, Tour of Flanders, and he did it over three years racing this. Steel frame, but with a copper finishing to it. That later became a very recognizable paint job that Villa do on their bikes called Romato, which you can see on numerous bikes in here, like this Super Leggera. This is like a modern day tribute to the steel frame that you can still buy. Again, a little tiny dinky cassette. Maybe I've just gone soft with my uh, 28. Hey, back to modern day. I've actually found 12 speed Dura Ace, which I haven't seen yet. It's very nice. It's black. And 12 speed. Maybe I'm seeing things, but this mech looks like it has a very long cage on it, which previously Dura Ace would just come with like a medium cage. There wasn't many options. They've also quite drastically changed the shape of the hoods. It definitely feels quite different from the old Dura Ace. Nice but different. This is all fitted to a Philante SLR, which you will have seen on my channel a few months ago, or maybe even a year ago, maybe even longer. My perception of time is definitely all screwed up. 
because of COVID. Anyone else having the same experience? I keep walking past this bike. And you know what? It's really growing on me, the idea of having an e-bike. Flat bar. It's like the ultimate bike. Imagine that, commuting home from Newcastle, uphill the whole way. E-bikes are the future and the solution to lots of traffic-based problems. Lovely day out here in Italy today, but on the plus side, time for some lunch. Pizza lunch. Complete disaster. They've run out of pizza. The whole of Italy, I've heard. Completely gone. Sorry. Mateo is loving life. He also loves being on camera. Lunch has been eaten. The next few hours are gonna be spent in this room having some top secret meetings. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Shh. <laughs> That's Ramato. That's an expensive pen. <laughs> really expensive. Uh, I'm joking. So you want <laughs> really? Yeah. Definitely. We can keep it till tonight, then after dinner we can... Uh... I'll look after it, just yeah. temporarily. Yeah, yeah. temporarily. By a bank, bank transfer for tonight. So that was a very productive day, business-wise. Very productive day because I acquired this pen. Special edition Romato. It was a shame, however, to have not been able to ride a bike because one, it's absolutely brilliant to ride bikes in this area. For viewers who may not have seen my previous episodes based here, this is the Veneto region of Italy, so near Venice and basically at the base of Monte Grappa, which is an amazing mountain you can ride on your road bike. But it's been absolutely shocking weather and I don't have a bike now because I dropped it off upstairs. Fingers crossed though, I can borrow something either tomorrow or the next day and get out for a ride. In the meantime, we're going out. And I think there might be actual pizza involved. I don't think there's a shortage around the whole of Italy. Well, I hope there's not. <laughs>